Okay, good evening all of you. Today we are going to start new lesson. It is graph. Okay, we have done with the equation lesson. And today we are going to start the new lesson. It is graph. Okay, write down the topic. is graph. Okay. When we learn about the graph, okay, first of all we should know what is, what are the uh, words related to this lesson, okay? The first word that we meet, or the first term that we meet in the lesson of graph is coordinates, okay? Then what is a coordinate, okay? Coordinate means, now we know that graphs are drawn in a particular uh, plane, okay? Then call, we call it is a coordinate plane. It consists of two Accesses, okay. What are they? They are called the x axis, x axis, and y axis. Okay, then we know that we have learned about the graph in the previous grades. Then this horizontal axis is called the x axis, and this vertical axis is called the y axis. Okay, and the coordinates are. Mark on the two axes and the, the place where these two axes meet is called the origin. It is named or it is marked as zero. Okay, if we consider the coordinates of the origin, it is zero comma zero because these two axes meet at the origin. Then we know that for the side of this side is called the positive side of the x-axis. Then it can be marked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this. Okay? I just consider the positive side only. Here in the y side, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Like this, we can mark the uh, coordinates of two axes on their uh, lines. Okay, then actually these two are two number lines. Okay, then coordinate plane is a particular plane that is uh, two axes or the two number lines have been drawn. Okay, then first of all, we should be able to write down and mark the uh, first of all, we should be able to identify what are the coordinates. So how we write the coordinates of a given point on a coordinate plane, okay? And the other thing is you should be able to mark a particular given uh, point on the coordinate plane, okay? Then, uh, first of all, under this topic, write down the subtopic. Right in the coordinates of the point. Okay, right in the coordinates of the point. Okay, here you can see I mark six points. 
on this coordinate plane. Okay. Then remember that uh, when we write the coordinates of the point, first of all, we write, you may think that if the um, point is, I will take the point as X, okay? Point X, 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 X. Yeah, we take point A. In general, okay. I'm going to write the coordinates of the point A. Okay, coordinates of the point A. Then first of all, we write the x coordinate. Always remember that. And next we write the y coordinate. Okay, then we write the this is the order of writing the coordinates of a particular point. Okay, then we write the x coordinate first. Then we write the y coordinate. What is mean by x coordinate and y coordinate? That means the particular value which is relevant to the uh, x axis of that particular point. You may think it is p. Now you have to check what is the number that is relevant to the x axis. Where are the p plus? Okay. P locate the in a channel. X to other point it is 3. Next, you have to check what is the value which is relevant to the y axis. It is 4. Then it is 3, 4. Okay. Then this is the standard way of writing the coordinates of a particular point. Okay. Always remember we write. It does not change any way. Okay. So it is a straight line parallel, sorry, straight line graph or a parabola. Anyway, when you write the coordinates of the point, you have to follow this order. Okay, this is the main point that you have to follow when you come to the graph lesson. Okay, because if you uh, make any mistake when you write or when you mark the coordinates, okay, of a point, then you won't be able to obtain correct answer. First of all, draw this one and write this standard order.
Okay, if you finish, let's write down the coordinates of these given points. Okay, now first of all, write the coordinates of P and Q. What are the coordinates of P and Q? You can just write below this graph how we identify the coordinates of P. P. Here look at what is the x coordinate of P is 3. Y coordinate of P is 4. So it is 3, 4. Then Q. X coordinate is 5. Y coordinate it is 2. Okay. These are the coordinates of P and Q. What to say when it comes to the coordinates of the point A, point B, and point C and D, there is a special thing that you have to remember relevant to the coordinates of A, B, C, D points. Okay? Because you can see A, B line on the X axis, okay, and C D line on the Y axis. Then you have to follow the there is a particular way of writing the actually the same way. Okay, maybe we do not mind. But remember that remember that when we write the coordinates of the point which is lie on the X axis, then the y coordinate becomes zero. Okay, always only the x coordinate is here. The y coordinate is what? It is zero. When you find the coordinates of a point on uh, which is lie of the y axis, then you can see only y coordinate is there. X coordinate is zero. Okay, never the x coordinate is angle in the domain or x axis is good enough. Y coordinate is in the domain. Okay, then. How we write the, please write this below this graph, okay? That's the other. The coordinates of points lie on x axis. Lie on x axis, okay? Then what are the coordinates here? Points, it is A. Then what is the um, coordinates here? X coordinate is 1. Then corresponding Y coordinate is 3. Other one is B. Uh, X coordinate is 6. Corresponding Y coordinate is 0. Then if you see a particular uh, point with the coordinates such that like this, okay? And maybe the coordinates take up over that book. Then you have to remember that it is lying on the x-axis. Okay, exactly. Next, the coordinates of points lie on y-axis. Okay? Then it is C, 0, 3, because the x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 3. D, x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 5. Okay? Uh, here also there is a special thing, what is it? The, when we write the coordinates of the points on y axis, then they are 0. Okay? Right.
Others, do you want more time? Will I want to cover? Okay, then next we are going now. After we are even, this is the, uh, the most important thing, and this is the basic. These are basics, okay? Now, I think you. You should be able to write the coordinates of a point correctly. Okay. Uh, then after we are going to identify the uh, important parts of the straight line graph. Okay. Boys, have you finished? Krishminda, have you finished with the writing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then I the subtopic. Okay. When we consider the straight line graph, it consists of these two parts, radians and rings. Okay. Okay. Uh, the straight line, I am drawing the one straight line, I consider it as my straight line graph. Okay, determine my straight line graph. Okay. Then okay, when we consider the straight line graph, okay, you can see it has. Uh, now, this is one kind of straight line. It, it can be like this. Okay. You have done this in the grade 9 also. It can be like this. Or it can be like this. Okay. Anything. Okay. Anyway, here it is a straight line graph. It has two main characteristics. Okay. What do you say? Okay. Sometimes it looks like this. Okay. What is, uh, what are they? Uh, straight line graph definitely intersect. Intersect means chedane uh, karana. It cut the y axis. Okay. Intersect the y axis. Okay. Then it is the one day thing that is done by the straight line graph. Okay. It intersect the y axis. Y axis the okay? intersect karana. In it make a particular angle. To the anti clockwise direction of the x axis, okay, with uh, to the anti clockwise direction of the positive side of the x axis, okay. You may identify, okay, look at here. This is the positive side of the x axis, this is the anti clockwise. Again, a clock may make a clear name. Do 
it is an obtuse angle, it is an acute angle. So, okay, the gradient means a particular measurement, okay, but it's a measurement that is given about the angle of this straight line which is made to the positive side and anticlockwise anti of the uh, x axis, okay, x axis. ंगलिए is called intersect okay intersect intersect kiyanne ka intersect kiyanne ka vetta let us identify these two words okay then here i am considering i take the x axis for a while here okay let me take the x axis that ma kodda ka kitan de that kodda apne hamla vena kodda da me straight line ek x axis ek ham vena ka me ne purte anna de इंटरसे Write down this one. Let me see again. After you write in this one, write down the next subtopic. It is the point in uh, gradient and the intercept of a graph. Okay, find with the gradient and. Intercept of the graph. Okay. Then put the gradient. Gradient means now, as I mentioned you that it is a particular measurement. Okay, we have to just find it. Gradient is obtained by dividing. Y difference of y coordinate. Okay, difference of difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates. Okay. Difference of y coordinates and difference of x coordinates. This is very important. Then what is mean by this one? Actually, no need to write this or remember this. Me or father. Me my. Me mukab the kiyane kuma me vidhi the dena va. Ba apni pori formula kasti no. Me vane karagand. Mukab the. You will think that you have given the. Uh, 
points or coordinates of two points. Okay, here I take this as Q. What the points they got? The coordinates they let the end. Then when T one coordinates of T and two are neighbor, what is the coordinate of T? It is four comma five. We know how to write the coordinate of Q. Q lie on the y axis, so its uh, coordinates is written as zero comma two. Okay. Now what you have to do is now difference y coordinates. I take it as y one subtract y two. Difference of x two I take as x one subtract x two. Then variant is denoted by f. Then this is the formula I use to find the Gradient. Okay, please write down all this under this graph. Okay, my graph is a little graph is a little bit of 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 a little In order to do I take this as x1. This is y1. Okay. Always remember to do this. Then the possibility to get wrong answer is decrease. Okay. This is. I name this as x1, y1, and this one as x2, y2. x2, y2. You don't answer. Then after we can do the substitution. Here we are going to find the gradient. It is n. Then what is the y1? It is 2. What is the y2? It is 5. Then 2 subtract 5. Then uh, x1, x1, don't take x2, take x1 because under y1 is x1. So you definitely have to write x1, it is 0, 0 subtract, here it is 4. Okay, then 2 subtract 5. Okay, they can put a here, is negative 3. 0 subtract 4, it is negative 4. They are 1, 3, 3 upon 4 because we know that. The division of two negative numbers, we obtain positive answer. Okay, so it is 3 upon 4. This is the way of finding the gradient of a given straight line graph when you know the coordinates of two points. Okay, then after how do you find the intercept? Okay. Under this right, intercept. Of the straight line graph is graph is the y coordinate of the point where graph. Touch the y axis. Okay, intercept of a straight line graph is the y coordinate of the point where graph touch the y axis. Then in this case, what is it? It is 2. Okay, maybe now intercept the data. Intercept is given by simple C.
Have all of you finished? Come on, my brother. Boys? The next topic, next subtopic should be the equation of a graph. Okay. The equation of a straight line graph. What is mean by the equation? Okay, the equation of a straight line graph. That means the name, okay? Actually, we can say it's the name of that particular graph, okay? Then, because it can be known and it will be straight line in the graph. A straight line in the graph, and we can see it. Okay, then here. Then, have a straight line in the graph, but maybe it can be any kind of thing. It can be fast in the graph, and it can be in the graph. Maybe it can be a few angles in the graph, and it can be in the graph. In different, different situations, the, it's, Coordinates can be changed, okay? So according to that, it can be named differently, okay? Then, when we consider the equation of a straight line, it is given by y equals mx plus C. Okay, this is the equation of the straight line graph. Then, you y and x are the coordinates of a particular point on that straight line. And m, m is the gradient, okay, gradient of the graph. Gradient of graph. And c is the intercept. In the set of the graph. Then you can see that gradient of the graph is given by the coefficient of the x in the equation. Okay? Gradient of the graph of the straight line graph. is given by the is given by the coefficient coefficient of x in the equation okay then Intercept is given by the constant of the equation. Okay, this
Okay, Putra, I think you have finished it, but I think. Remember, I know that. Okay. Putra, yes, yes. Sorry? Give your bit. Finished? One bit. Yes, this Okay. Others also finish? Okay, then let's see. Some questions given related to the straight line graph. Okay, definitely in the exam, you will have a short question related to straight line graph. Okay, here yeah, I am going to take the 2022. All well, part three. Part three. It is twenty question. Okay. It is given like this. First of all, they have given a graph. Okay. They ask obtain the equation of the straight line in the lead. shown in the figure. First of all, write down the question.
Okay, already you will be able to obtain the answer. Here, how we do look at to obtain the equation of the straight line AB, we need what? We need the gradient. Okay, we need gradient. Gradient is what? It is A. And we need the intercept. Intercept means C. Okay, A means the coefficient of X and the C is the constant. Then by the given straight line graph, how we identify gradient. We know that it is obtained by difference of y coordinates divided by difference of x coordinates. Okay, this is the way of finding the gradient. Then how we do this? First of all, you have to write down the coordinates of the two points. Then how we write the coordinates of here? It is 0, 3. Then here it is 6, 0. Maybe the Patalagato, Ogolanta, answer the Vardi. Eka Maki, Eka Mudi Mayadi, how we write the coordinates of a point. Okay? Then here what you have to do is A. This is x1, this is y1. This is x2, this is y2. And then by looking at that, you can substitute. Y1 is 3, subtract. Y2 is 0. Divide x1 is 0, subtract x2 is 6. Okay. If any of you just change this, then you will get different answers. Okay. Then 3 subtract 0, it is 3. 0 subtract minus 6, it is minus 6. Okay. Then 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then 1 divided by 2 is minus. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. You can just keep the answer as a fraction. Okay. Here it is negative value. It is because the numerator is a positive value, denominator is a negative value. Therefore, when you divide positive value by negative value, okay, you obtain negative value. Therefore, this answer is negative. Okay, this is the end. Then C, C can be Easily identified is the y coordinate of the place where straight line touch the y axis. P is equal to 3. Okay. After finding these two, you can write the equation of the graph. It is what? Right, right here. It is y equals m. m is minus 1 over 2 times x. Add C. C is 3. Okay. This is the answer. Because they are asked to find the equation. Okay. When you find the equation, you have to find the coefficient of the x. It is what? Radian. Last constant term. It is what? It is the intercept. Okay. Separately, you can find these two and write the answer. Okay. In some of here, they have us only gradient of the given straight line. Okay. Write down the answers.
Okay, could you finish? Then shall we look at another past paper question? It is 2019 order paper. Paper 1, part A. It's the eighth question. Look at the difference. It was the previously discussed 20th question. Here I'm going to discuss eighth question. Okay. Again, it is also based on straight line, which is given on a coordinate thing. Okay. This is the y axis, this is x. And here it is one. Okay, find the gradient of the straight line shown in the figure. Okay, try to find the answer and let me what is the answer you have got. Put it this way, yeah? Maybe should pass
Okay, now correct. Huh? Then one, two, three, four, six. Yes, Pupi, what is the answer? Have you got the answer? How we find the gradient? Gradient is obtained by m equals y1 subtract y2 divided by x1 subtract x2. Okay? So, ah, here they ask to find the only gradient. Don't cite the equation of the graph, okay? It is the gradient. Gradient take a hand at the So, you have to just take the any two points. You can take any two points. You can, you 
you can take eight these two, or these two, or these two. Okay. Anyway, first of all, write down the coordinates of two points. Here I write zero comma two. Here it is one comma four. Here it is two comma six. Okay. So x one y one x two Y2. I take these two. You can take, if you want, you can take these two. However, doesn't matter which point, two points you consider, you will obtain the same answer. Okay? Then here Y1 is what? It is 2. Y2 is 4 divide. X1 is 0. X2 is 1. Then 2 subtract 4 it is minus 3. 0 subtract 1 it is minus 1. Then for the negative value divided by negative value answer is positive. So it is 3. Okay. If any of you now get this oh sorry 2 subtract 4 it is 2. Huh? If you now get this 2 maybe it is a problem. This is what you have to find. Well, have you got this answer? Then, uh, now this is how you find the answer for the questions which are given related to the straight lines on a coordinate plane. Coordinate plane, the straight line, the gradient, the equation, the equation, the equation. But, when you are given a question like this, okay? Look at uh, this is our third question. This is not a past paper, but there are some past papers kind of this one. The coordinates of two points. The coordinates of two points on a straight line are four comma two and two comma minus two. The coordinates of two points on a straight line are these two. Then you ask to find the gradient of the straight line. And now the same procedure you have to follow because here also they have given the Coordinates of two points. Okay, so what you have to do, you can just write down the coordinates. Actually, you can just write it like this and subtract. Okay, so main. Here x1, this is y1. This is x2, this is y2. So gradient is m equals to y1 subtract y2. Divide by x1 subtract x2. y1 is 2. y2 is another. y2 is negative 2. So, subtract negative 2. Remember, when you substitute, okay, for this substitution part, you are given one mark index. Huh? When you substitute negative values, remember to write them within a bracket. Okay? Then x1, it is 4. 
subtract x2 is 2. Then 2 here. When there is a subtraction and minus sign. So negative value. Then their signs change and become positive. Okay. Then for subtract 2 is 2. Then um, 2, 2 plus 2 it is 4. 4 divided by 2 answer is 2. Okay. When a method is the majority of the minus sign minus it becomes plus. Okay. Right down. Okay, Puti, shall we do another kind of question? Oh, no.
Now they are asked to write the, what is the equation of the curve which is passing through the points minus 3 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 2. Okay. Then you know that to write the um, equation of a graph. Okay. We need what? We need the gradient and the intercept. Okay. And now find it here. This is equation. Okay. Please find the answer and tell me what is it. Yes, Kuti, what are the answers? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Then first of all, we have to find the gradient. Now, to find the gradient, we can uh, name these two points. Like x1, y1, here x2, y2. Because it makes easy to find the answer. And then y1 subtract y2. 
zero subtract minus two. Okay, divide x one is minus three subtract zero. And then zero subtract minus two. Then it becomes plus two. Here minus three subtract three it is minus three. Therefore, it is negative two over three. Then how we find the C? I mentioned you that C can be easily identified because it is this kind of coordinate, no? Because zero to two minus two means it is lie on the y-axis. That means definitely this is the point where this straight line passes through the y-axis. That means C is equals to minus two. Therefore, it is y equals to M is minus 2 over 3 times x plus subtract minus 2. Okay. This is the equation. Have you got this answer? What are the other things? Yes. 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 Okay, the straight line, so sorry, questions related to straight line can be asked in different, different way. Okay, then you actually here there are only one two concepts, gradient and intercept, but you have to properly identify it and find the answer. Okay, which question is this one? So, make a run higher the pahadu. Yes. Write the equation of the straight line with gradient. Gradient is half which passes through which passes through the points zero comma minus three. Okay. Ah, tell me the answer. Read the question properly and let me the answer. Find out the question. Read the answer. 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 Form of the straight line graph is y equals to m x plus c. They have given the gradient. That means it is m. Y equals to half into x. And they have given the point of the particular straight line where it touches the y axis because it is 0, comma minus 3. That means it is on the y axis. So intercept is minus 3. It is half into x into Minus 3. Very easily we can obtain the answer. This kind of equation can be there in the between 1 and 10 questions. Okay, so don't be get confused when there is a because I kind of uh, say that the straight line related uh, uh, question can be in between 1 and 10, or it may be between 10 and 15 or 10 and 20. Okay, it may be definitely one kind of one question between. 1 and 25 questions and I cannot uh, say exactly this is the this kind of question can be there but I can give you that definitely there will be a straight line related graph okay question okay so you have to be aware about the gradient intercept and those uh, two concepts okay properly to write the answer for this question. Let's do one more question related to straight lines.
find the gradient and the intercept gradient and the intercept of the straight line indicated by equation three x subtract y equals five. Okay. Okay, tell me the answer. Gradient 3, intercept minus 4. Yes, how we identify. Here, for the definite, it's a previous case. I said to that if the term is in this form, this form, maybe the other then what is this here? The coefficient of y is 1, and the coefficient of x is m. Here, intercept is c. Okay, but here, you, what you have to take is coefficient y is 1. That means y is alone in one side and other two terms are on the other side. But in this case, it is different. Okay? Here the x and y terms are on one side and constant term is on the other side. So what you have to do is you have to make this equation this form. So to make this form, what you have to do? You have to write the, or you have to do the change. Okay? How Keep the minus y in one side and take this three to other side. Or you can see like this. You can take y to other side and take five to this side. You can three x minus y equals five. Take y to other side. Then three x minus five equals one. Uh, then you can write y equals three x minus five. And three x minus five equals y. Here we have y. Now take y to one side. Now, gradient is what? M equals to 3. C is minus 5. Okay? This is about the straight line graphs. Okay? Straight lines related graph. You know? Approach right? Discuss. Next, let's move to the graphs of quadratic functions, okay? Actually, you have done this in the great thing also. Okay, let's see. Write down the topic. Graph of quadratic functions. Graphs of quadratic functions. When okay. you consider the of quadratic functions, they are parabola in shape. Okay. okay. This shape, no? Then the shape pick This is a minimum parabola. It can be a maximum parabola also. Okay. 
Then when we discuss about the plot of this parabola, <laughs> then the place where this graph divides into equal to parts, okay? This axis is called the axis of symmetry. This is called the axis of symmetry. And these two points, they are the graph touch the x axis are called the roots of the function. Okay, these two points are called the roots of function. These are roots of function. And this point is called the minimum point, or we call the turning point. Turning point. Okay, then this is the function for drawing this graph. It is called the function. <coughs> and this point or the here, this is called the uh, the place where the graph touch the y axis. Graph with the y axis at the touch the huh? But these are the main important things that you should know. Definitely, you have to mark the two axes as x and y. But then we ask you to have uh, graph sheets with you. Well, the graph sheets can be a little I don't know whether you have got it or not. In on the pen and the... Please raise your hand if you have the graph sheets. Graph sheets can be a little Graph sheets the end of it. If you make parabola and end of it, graph sheets. That's the word. Hurry at a point take it. Answers done the best. I'm all the cute piece of it. Graph cute take a cute thing. Give it at this. All of graph sheets done for the Ani Varim are a podi for two work. Take up the land for the land of the eka podi for two years in the other as some of the rest of the day. Mayo eka Samana for two paha center. Mayo may better buy, may better buy. On the weather group graph sheet. I got it. Samahan for the Nama. Make the hike with this field. If the photo of the hike with it, it is unlipped. The art exam make it and in the day, maybe it is a photo of the hike with the book, rough shape. If the good egg, you know what? Take ten small units as one unit here. The meaning of that is you have to take two small squares like this because it consists of ten small squares. Please let me when you're done with this. We are going to draw one graph.
Okay, Pute. If you finish with this, take your textbooks. Over language grade 11 textbook. Take your grade 11 textbook. And turn to the page number 44. Page number 44. In the page number 44, move to the second question. That means I am discussing here in the exercise 12.2. Second question. Okay. It is given that an incomplete table of values prepared to sketch the graph of y equals x squared minus 4x plus 2. y equals x squared minus 4x plus 2. Okay? It's given below. Then, when x equals to minus 1, you have to find the value of y. Then to do this, you have to find the, you, sorry, you have to substitute this. Then look at it is minus 1 squared minus 4 into minus 1 at 2. Minus 1 squared is plus 1. Minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 plus 2. Then answer is 7. Likewise, find the answer for x equals to Okay, try to find this one. And by answer. Then you have to first of all substitute that, find the answer, then x equals to 2. Okay, what is the answer? Can by the answer you look at the key? Y equals 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 2. Here 4 minus 8 plus 2. 4 minus 8 it is minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Have you got this answer? Okay, now let's draw the graph. Then the graph is only. Now you should have graph sheets. Okay, then they ask to take complete the above table and by taking 10 small divisions along the x-axis and y-axis to be one unit as a scale, draw the graph of the given function, okay? That means along the x-axis and along the y-axis, you have to take small squares, okay? 10 small squares. It will make it uh, minus two,
point. Then here you can, this is the y coordinate, this is the x coordinate. Then answer for the part A of the second part is 2 comma minus 2. In the B, B part, the minimum value of the function. Minimum value is the y coordinate which is relevant to the turning point. Okay? Y coordinate of the turning point is minus 2. Okay? This is called the minimum point. The value of x for which function 0. Function is 0 when x values are unknown. This is very important. Okay? How we write the x values when the function 0? Function 0 means y value becomes 0. Y value becomes 0 in a coordinate plane where go ahead the y value with a 0 when the coordinate plane. Y0, y coordinate 0 when you go ahead. Any y value is 0 in this coordinate plane. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Zero point uh, six and three point five. Why value make a zero when you put it? Even at the Matagadiaga and function make a zero when me may graph take a x axis second intersect. Then, the graph take a x axis intersect and go here. Main the main place, the case, huh? Main the main place. We think on a higher level. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh, what are Graphic and the upper hurry does the line the camera and can with the value of the burner 3.6 again 3.5 again. Graphic the minimum with the intersect and the pinnacle to the killer burner. We will do the point name is small squares. P at the hill. Five again. Better than 0.6 the may fish mean. Or is it a boy six or zero point six down? Method to three point eight again. Three point eight. And it's not a the name of the rest. I don't know if you can answer the name of the Lian equals zero point six. And x equals 3.8. In these two places, function becomes 0. Okay? Then you can write, okay? Function becomes 0. Make an answer cup may be or an occupying with an Iagan. I put the theory of the answer cup and work. And you are in the end of the thing. Function becomes 0 on the x axis. Therefore, Identify two points where graph intersect x axis. Okay. When the maybe the head of the way up, you may answer the way I'm going to be. The other part of the other part of the function becomes zero on the x axis, therefore. Identify two points where graph intersects x axis and just write it x equals 0 0.6 and x equals 3.8. And the okay, general question is uh, graph related questions. Okay. 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 Okay.
Hari, it is not say a face D could a set of the answer. But write the answers for part D. D asks the range of the values of X for which Y is less than or minus 1. Y can again minus 1 for the matter do it and now with the X range. Make an 
over the horizontal graph and the other at the k. So the next week, k okay, api ani var in the main graph questions discuss the other over the graph and the graph tika and the other end of it. And other make him pass it. Lavana Satina for the parallel barana on the other way, the good or bad. Then the class take the no idea next week in the day. May Anivare graph and the other end of it. Saha eka mato over photo seven, the mato palan do you go for it. Different kind of graph can be uh, made. So please do that exercise. Okay, Now, class Okay, then thank you for your participation. Goodbye. God bless you. Good night.